Tom spent many years working at the Clareton Works steel plant in their coke processing facility, and he's modeled a complete steel plant on a scale rarely seen in the hobby. Even though the facility has been compressed to a manageable size for a model, it occupies almost 40 linear feet at the layout. Tom takes us on a tour. We'll start through coming in through Maple Avenue Gate where I walked many years into the plant. Outside the plant, you had many bars, the local union hall, and in this case, we had the hardware store was going into our plant. It was Falcon um, Brothers Hardware. The steel mill is broken down to a yard operator and another person is the crew. Each job takes anywhere from a half hour to 15 minutes to operate. By the end of the operating session, the crewman has operated approximately 12 different jobs within the steel plant. It takes roughly four to four and a half hours to do all the different crew assignments within the plant. Hi, it's Ken Goslett. I'm inside the Angus Pavilion at Expo Rail, the Canadian Railway Museum at St. Constant, Quebec. And I'm standing in front of MLW's Pinnacle Freight Locomotive. CPR 4744, the M640, the 4,000 horsepower V18, highest horsepower locomotive at its time ever built in Canada and at the time in the US. Okay, we're standing on the running board of CPR 4744, the M640, the 4,000 horsepower locomotive, powered by the only railroad application of the ALCO, A-L-C-O, American Locomotive Company, V18 diesel engine. Now, up until this time, the biggest prime mover that MLW, or for that matter, ALCO, had ever put into a diesel locomotive was a V16. And they wanted to get 4,000 horsepower. CPR wanted to try the uh, concept of a 4,000 horsepower freight locomotive on six axles. So they said, okay, we can do it. We're gonna add two cylinders to our existing diesel locomotive engine, and we're gonna come up with a V18 prime mover. Vintage steam whistles have been highly sought after as collectible industrial art. That brings up the question, is whistle making an art or a craft? It's a little bit of both. It, you have to have some craftsmanship skills to be able to form the metal to make the bell lengths and chamber heights. And also it's a little bit of an art because music is art and you're creating a musical instrument. Uh, far be it, not one that you can really take and blow anywhere, but, um, but it's, it's like a musical pipe instrument for a steam locomotive. By the railroad company men, they were used as signaling devices, noisemakers. But for the engineers, they were a musical instrument. Let's take this down a whole bit. How is it managing to do the mortar lines again? Because I lined mortar to mortar, right. top to bottom, it picks up that mortar line and puts, puts it back into the same place. This mortar line is actually up here someplace. Right, I understand okay? that. But it's putting it right back in. And yes, that's the thing I have to watch for, because if I do this a long ways down, let's take this down a good ways here. You know what I'm going to do? What's that? I'm going to watch this video oh, when look, we get look, it. Look, look, look. What, what's wrong? What's happened? I didn't work. Mm. That's because my X up at the top has now hit the original pixels that were black. So it's saying, okay, you want black on black. Right. So that's why I say, do a little bit, let off of the mouse, and now watch. Okay, so I do a little bit, maybe a brick or two, right. I let off, and I go again. And that way I'm always picking up fresh material from up on top. Wow. Okay. And that you can get kind of frustrated because sometimes you're going along and you say, oh, this is really cool. And I go a long ways down and all of a sudden it doesn't work. And you're going, why didn't it work? Why well, it didn't, didn't it work because I didn't let off and I right. didn't start again. Exactly. Okay. And then after I do every one of these, let's say I take all of this out and let's actually go to, since I still have my original pick point, I can go to a, a much larger dot here and I can go faster. Mm -hmm. 